Omega fight. Roberto Jimenez on your left. Kainan Duarte on your right. Right away, he shoots in stuffed on the shoulders by Kainan Duarte. Roberto pulls guard. This is where Kainan wanted to operate. He wanted to be in the top position. And wow, both of these guys are coming out strong. Roberto trying to create a little disbalance. He's working from that De La Hiva grip. Kainan stripping grips. This match can headline a super fight pretty much anywhere. Both of these guys are in the middle and heavy, and we wanted to make this match happen early in the rounds, in the middle, late in the rounds, in the heavy. Action kind of slows a little bit from the collar grip De La Hiva. Kynan stuffs and steps over the leg, pinches the knees. Roberto recovers. Again, stepping over. Roberto a little disbalance and recovered. Tries to shoot in for an umaplata, nothing to him. One minute in, nothing on the board. Roberto controlling that far leg of Kainan. Roberto, if you've been hearing about a 16-year-old tapping out black belts, you've been hearing about Roberto. Kainan Duarte just recently qualified for ABCC. Very good job by Roberto Jimenez getting underneath Kainan in a waiter chair sweep type situation. Here, action stalls. Roberto does have that sleeve controlled of Kainan, which can be of benefit. Kainan using that hand to control the leg in an active post with his left hand. Roberto has a good opportunity to try and sweep here. It's very difficult to pinpoint what makes Kainan great. At times it looks like he's just kind of a Here, very good sweep by Roberto Jimenez. Two points, Roberto. That's very a good indication how the, of how this match might go. Roberto Jimenez was the fan favorite going in. Most of you voted that Roberto would win this match. Kind of working from the De La Hiva with no grips. Roberto probably a little stronger passing and taking the back off of his pass attempts. Kind of working that lapel. He abandons it, goes to collar grip De La Hiva. He is underneath him, excuse me, he's in the single X. Kainan controls that far grip, a very similar type of sequence, and he gets the sweep. There's the two points. Kainan Duarte evening it up. Referee calls a stop. Several seconds before they scrambled out of bounds. With 4.30 to go, it's all even at two apiece. We're going to get a restart from standing. You especially have to give props to Jimenez for stepping up with the flu and a strep throat, taking on two divisions and a monster in Kainan Duarte. He's still looking sharp and on point though. No ill effects, no pun intended. There kind of pulls. Interesting. He thought that that was his path to victory. That's a very good strategy because both competitors have swept. So you go where you've already scored points. Roberto trying to close distance. I kind of wonder how this is going to play in later into this match with Roberto's cardio. He's had a long time to recover and only had a one minute match in the opening round. There he tries to go to a smash pass, nothing doing. Kainan's leg just absorbed it. There, Roberto working a leg drag, pummeling is Kainan trying to recover. There he's undoing the lapel, maybe working to set up some lapel guard. Keenan Cornelius wanted to wager money with anybody that thought that Kainan would be defeated. So far, Roberto giving him an absolute run for his money and if not controlling the initiative. Kainan passing the lapel underneath and inverting. He likes to swing around. Here's the lapel of Plata. Doing a very good job at stepping out of it. Something might happen here. Kainan underneath him once again with that right foot on the outside. So single X with the hook on the outside. Kainan might be trying to set up 50-50. Here he is setting up 50-50. There's that 50-50. So this match could be decided by the thinnest of the margins if we remain in the 50-50. Kainan trying to sweep, Roberto folding his leg, basing on his hands. Kainan trying to get up on top and he does get on top! He just needs to hold it. And there it is. Two points. Kainan Duarte. The timing of this could be interesting. If we're looking at a minute apiece per sweep in the 50-50, that puts Kainan at an advantage here. 
he might want to just sweep himself and then have the appropriate amount of time to work for a 50-50 sweep. You see guys sweep from the 50-50 when they really bury down and really try to sweep and the guy tries to resist. It takes about a minute, 10, a minute 20 to get that sweep. So I think if Tynan hangs on too long, he could be in a very dangerous spot. One of these guys needs to think about earning an advantage. Tynan steps out of it. Let's see if he can keep his base. Tynan keeps his base. He's folding into the half guard. Tynan could be slipping away. Roberto has a very good back take from here. He tries to elevate. He does. He recovers. Collar grip de la Hiva. This could be it. Collar in sleeve. Cut. He's working to separate elbow and knee. He has to put on the, the hip. Nicholas Marigali style. Kind of working to throw the legs by. Roberto could be fading. Roberto could be fading. Kynan's trying to cross his legs and just hold this position. 90 seconds to go. The score officially on the scoreboard is 4 to 2. Roberto is ahead. Roberto is ahead. He looks up, he sees that he's up two points. Kynan is down. Two points. Three points for the guard pass. Kynan Duarge. Bringing the score five to four. Roberto's gonna need to scramble out of it. Can Roberto dig deep? Roberto is gonna need to dig deep. He's going. Can he get on top? This could be risky. He's risking it. Can he risk it? Can he get top position here? This could be top position. One minute to go. Referee goes to stop. All eyes on the referee. All eyes on the referee if he interprets that as top position. Kynan was in what he considered side control. That's two points, not four over there. It's just two points. Two points, Roberto Jimenez. So he retracted the two points. That puts Roberto in a huge hole. He takes a deep breath. We'll verify with the referee that this is, is the six. Seven two. The correct score is seven two. Seven two. So we just had the points awarded to the wrong person. Kind of Duarte really, really has some separation here on the points. Can you go back to the same position? Very complex positions that have taken place. Not typical that you see these. There we go, one minute to go. He's trying to untangle himself from this closed entanglement of Kain and Duarte. It looks like uh, the hope for victory is fading for the young Jimenez. Jimenez competing against one of his idols, Kainan. He looked up to Kainan as Kainan won all the world championships in those juvenile divisions. Just 30 seconds to go. Just 20 seconds. Kainan looking to probably just hang on and he does get penalty for each one of these guys. 15 seconds realistically is not going to be enough. Just a couple of seconds to go. And it looks like it's going to be Kynan Duarte who's going to take this one. 7 to 2. What an interesting match, scoring wise. It's going to be Kynan Duarte from Atos HQ.